This morning at my fishmonger, he had the most incredible ocean trout. So I obliged and got two beautiful pieces. I'm gonna show you how to cook it perfectly in the pan in the oven. And I'm also gonna serve it with a beurre blanc. Now I'm gonna need a pot and a pan for this recipe. These pots and pans are fantastic because it has a removable handle, which makes it so much easier to store in smaller cupboards. Now for the beurre blanc, I'll need some white wine vinegar and some white wine. We'll add that to the pot and the white wine, along with some French shallots, two French shallots that I've finely chopped because I want that texture in the final sauce when I present it. Now I'm going to turn the heat on. Now we're just going to let that bubble away and once it reduces significantly, we can start adding the other ingredients. Now I can get onto some prep for our garnish before we cook our fish because the fish doesn't take long at all to cook. A tomato that I've just blanched in some water and taken the skin off. I'm just being quite pedantic here because I want it to look perfect and I don't want the skin in this, I just want the pure flesh. So I'm going to cut it in half, you can see it's quite a large tomato, into quarters. And then we're going to take out the center of the tomato because all we're wanting is that beautiful flesh. And then I'm going to turn all the cheeks and finely chop them. So we've essentially got a tomato concasse. Very French technique and it's a very beautiful way of presenting the tomato with the beurre blanc. Now, speaking of sauce, let's have a look at this reduction. Oh, you can see how it's completely reduced and we've got just a few tablespoons left. That's what we're looking for. So now it's time to add the cream. So a few tablespoons of cream, it's plenty. And then with a whisk, we're going to whisk that in. Now I'm just gonna let that bubble away for a few moments. I'm also going to heat up my fry pan because we're ready to start cooking our fish. I'll also get the cold butter out of the fridge. And I've left this in the fridge to the last minute because when it comes to a beurre blanc, you want the butter to gently melt in this cream reduction. So now we can start adding one bit of butter at a time. Now it's a butter sauce, so we need a lot of butter, but I tell you what, it is worth it because it tastes so good with the trout. So we're now going to gently whisk that in and allow that to melt away just on a medium to low heat. And you'll see the sauce start to transform and go glossy. Now, as I'm making this sauce, I'm also going to get the fish ready. So I'll be working the pots and pans. So we're just going to add the fish now to this pan that's nice and hot. A little olive oil over the fish. So drizzle that over. Along with a pinch of salt. And we want that pinch of salt on that skin so it goes super crispy. And just with your hands, massage that over each side of the fish. Look at that gorgeous colour, a nice bit of fat so it's going to stay moist throughout the cooking process. Now I'm going to cook this skin side down, nice sizzle, just press down on the fish. And this is going to cook for about three to four minutes. You can see how thick this ocean trout is. So I'm going to finish it off in the oven. As soon as that skin's quite crispy, turn it over and another three to four minutes in the oven at 180 degrees. Now the fish has been cooking for three minutes and it's cooked perfectly, still nice and pink in the centre and the sauce is done too. So I've just been keeping it warm with the lid on and I need to finish it off. So all I need is to add some salt to it, so a generous pinch of salt and one last whisk. Whisk that in. And now for the tomato that we prepped earlier, I'll add three quarters of the tomato now and we'll keep a little for the presentation and just fold this in. So this is like a tomato beurre blanc. And I like the addition of the tomato because it gives it a pop of sweetness. Okay, we are ready to plate up. I like to put the sauce on the surface of the plate 
so we can show off that crispy skin. I don't want to drench that crispy skin in all of this sauce. I love my classic French sauces, so I'm adding a generous amount. We'll just spread that out. <sighs> Looks good. And now for the fish, I'll take one of the fillets and we'll just pop that in the sauce, in the pool of sauce, if you like. And look at that skin. See how crispy it is? That's what we're looking for. And now for some extra tomato, we'll just scatter that in the sauce just so we've got a warm tomato and then a raw tomato over it. Looks good. Last thing is some fresh chives. Just cut that in half and gather them together and then finely chop them. It's plenty. And then we'll just sprinkle that over the top and in the sauce. There you go, beurre blanc. Very old school sauce, very delicious sauce. Like my dad would say, people would pay good money for that in a restaurant. <laughs>